ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Off The Map. This is your definitive 20 minute guide on how to take it straight from your spawn point as Torbjorn to straight off the map. Let's get straight into it. Today we've divided off the map into easy, medium and hard. We're going to be kicking things off with Polskaya Industries, then heading on over to Dorado, then Numbani, followed by Hollywood, Route 66 and then Blizzard World. In the medium section we've got Iconworld, Ilios, Nepal, Lijang Tower, Oasis, Washpoint Gibraltar, and then Hanamura. Finally, we're going to be closing things out with the hard maps such as everyone's favourite King's Row, Horizon Lunar Colony, Junker Town, and Temple of Anubis. Let's get straight into it. We're going to be starting off here at Volsky Industries' first defence point. Pretty simple map, good for speed running. Just hop over the tables, and you're going to want to hang a fat left straight out of the left spawn point. You can get it off the map in a firm 8.617 seconds. This will take you to Volskaya Industries second offense where you also take the left exit and hang another left. You can get a record breaking time of 4.429 seconds. You can't beat times like that folks. Volskaya Industries first offense also very similar in that you take the left exit and then pull a left. You could get really good times here but the most of the time here is just spent getting through that corridor and pulling the corners as necessary. 8.308, that's pretty good. On to Dorado, I forgot to record this, but Dorado's pretty easy. Just walk out the spawn, yes. off the wall, you're good to go. 4.162 seconds, that's incredible. Just do the same thing, who cares, Numbani. Just go out the left spawn door again. It's like Blizzard wants you to do it. It's just left every time, jump straight off the map. Nice 8.141 seconds on that one. Great job, Torby. Gonna fall straight through the map. Onto the mighty second effects. We're gonna switch things up and pull a nice right out of this spawn door. Really just sets you up for the first technical part of this run where you have to jump on the handlebars of the scooter and launch yourself over the garden off the map for a nice 12.496 seconds. Numbani third offense. You're going to want to take the right hand exit again and again and then just take it off the map. It's not that hard. 7.149, sorry. 7.149 seconds. Numbani first defense going back to the basics oh, no. and taking a left and then another oh, left. No. Pulling a Yui straight off the map. I slap my desk. My knuckles hurt. 7.875. These records just can't be broken. Numbani's second defense, this actually gets a bit technical. You have two choices. You can either take the left exit and go left off the map. This will get you off the map once you go up the stairs <laughs> in a firm 12.596 seconds. Can we beat that time by going off the map on the right side? 12.596 was the time to beat. Pulling a left, pulling another left, just wrapping around that corner. Then firm right, bouncing over the rock, and you can get off in an 11.261 seconds. So it's better to go out the right-hand side door than it is the left-hand side door. Hollywood is really easy to take it off the map. Just walk out the spawn into the junk rat trap. 4.162 seconds. I'm pretty sure that was the exact same time as we had before. Route 66, just go out the right spawn door on the first offense, and you're golden. There's just a cliff. What, what great map design. The Blizzard's really just given it to us, Torbjorn players. 8.717 seconds. This is just incredible. I've never seen a run this fast before. Second offense, left door, left corner. Cliff's right there. It's just as easy as that. 7 point... Oh, that's a long fall. It's actually 8.650. Don't get mistaken. Third offense, this is a real long run. You just run straight through the building. Nice third person perspective. Now, here's a really technical bit. You hear that? I got a friend request. That initiates a frame skip, which allows me to take it off the map very slightly faster than you would normally. 16.291. That's the slowest run today, but it's a pretty long run anyway. Route 66, first defense, just turn left. Turn left. You're done. Avoid the cactus, because they hurt. This will get you in there. That's longer than I expected, actually. 9.493. The most of the time is spent actually falling. Route 66, second defense. We're going to have to enhance our techniques to get a decent time here. We're going to want to bounce up the stairs and cut the corner. This is very technical. You don't want to get stuck on that bar there. We're hitting the 12 second mark. This is the longest run so far. Here we're going to perform a series of bunny hops. This will help us reach Torbamal Velocity, which is the fastest velocity a Torbjorn can reach through a fluid such as air. 24.892 seconds is the time to beat on Route 66 Second Defense. Blizzard World, honestly, there's no reason to take it off on this map because you can just sit down and ride this damn griffin. It's just the... It's just the... Uh, I can take a break. I'm just going to walk away from the computer. 
vibrating Griffin ride flying high above Elwyn Forest and Mill. All right, boys, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Oh, I got kicked from my own custom game. Sure, that's fine. I can vault. First offense, go out the left spawn door, turn left, do a jump, don't get stuck on this bike rack, and you're straight off the cliff. 7.132, incredible. I can vault second point offense. Same thing, left door, turn left, but don't get stuck on this tree like I did. That's not very clever. Now I have to restart the run. Oh no. I can vault second offense. Go at the left door, pull a left, but don't get caught on the tree like an idiot. That made me wasted so much time recording this video. Third offense, you got three choices. Go at the left spawn door, up the stairs, and into the left side of the bridge. That'll get you in in a healthy eight. Oh, 9.526 seconds into that river below the bridge. <laughs> this video is fucking stupid. Why am I recording this? I can roll third offense if you go at the left door and go into the right pit. You can cut some time off and get it in in 9.001 seconds. I'm pretty sure that was faster. I wasn't paying attention. I could roll third offense, Back go at the right fight. spawn door, and hang a left. Time to beat is 9.001 seconds. It's looking good. It's looking good. You're supposed to go out the right spawn door and take it into the left pit. 8.208 seconds. That is incredible. I could roll first defense. Pretty similar. It's like almost the same point, but you can just pull a left and it's much faster. 5.964 seconds on that one. I can roll second defense. This is a bit of a long run, but we're gonna want to hit Torbjorn velocity again by tall popping. It's like B hopping, but with Torbjorn, obviously. And you're just gonna want to take it straight forward. Nothing special. Just want to get those hops in. You should get it off the map in around 14.774 seconds. It's incredible stuff, really. Nice panning shot there as you die. I can fold third defense. So you're gonna want to start with those tall pops again. Come through this area and then just look to your left. You don't have to int, because Reinhardt already did it for you. Next map, Ilios. This is where things start getting tricky. <laughs> We're into the medium category as of the last one. I can roll... <laughs> on well red side, you can just take it off on the left. But on well blue side, there's not enough room on... Well, we... it's not enough room? That's going to finish you off with a 3.829 on the blue side, which was slower than the red side. Blizzard, I don't know if it was the random spawns or if your maps are unbalanced, but Lighthouse Red Side, these we're inting too fast for me, boys. 5.005 seconds on Lighthouse Red Side. Lighthouse Blue Side, however, we just take it straight off again. 4.838! That's a difference of, like, 2 milliseconds. No, 200 milliseconds? I don't... That's a lot of milliseconds. Either way, ruins red side. This is a bit tricky. You're gonna have to strafe around that ledge, otherwise you're gonna hit it, and that's gonna add extra time to your run. You do not want that in a in a long distance <laughs> in a top beyond speed run. <laughs> ruins blue side. Similar thing. You're gonna want to strafe around that rock. You're probably gonna go on faster than me because I hit some invisible skybox. Skybox? B map box? I'm not sure what it called. Nepal, who cares about Ilios? Sanctum, red side, just pull a left, take it off. 4.446, that's pretty fast. I don't know if it's as fast as Dorado, though. That one was pretty good. Nepal, Sanctum, blue side, you got a really good line. That was a lucky spawn, 4.062. That might be the fastest run so far. Nepal, shrine, red side, you could do a similar thing. Just take it straight off. There's no need. These Cosmos, why is this in the medium tier? Well, you're about to find out. Shrine blue side, this is still easy. You just take a left. 4.263. Now we're on to village red side. You think it's going to be easy, right? You just go out the right-hand side door and jump off the map. Well, actually, there's a skybox here for whatever reason. You're just going to float around like an idiot. You can run up the skybox and it has the same effect. You just start flying. I don't know why that's in the game, but it's ruining my run. Can we cut to the next clip, please? There we go, village red side, you actually just want to go straight out the door and just run under this engine, which doesn't kill you, it's not hot enough, and you just jump off the map. It's as simple as that, 7.583, that's pretty bad for a cough map. We'll see if we can beat it on blue side. I don't even know if there's a hitbox here because I didn't check, that would have been nice for the video. Uh, 7.182, also don't remember if that was faster, this video is... 
Lijiang Tower, Night Market Red Side. Well, speaking of bad skyboxes, this is. You can walk on this. Who knew? There's no floor here, but I can just walk around. That's great. That's. My speed run is very. Very. Lijiang Tower, Night Market Red Side. Go left, but don't jump on the bit that you can walk on. Just go straight off. 7.065. I like Li Zhang because you don't fall for like a second and that doesn't throw me off when I try to read the time early. Li Zhang Tower, Night Market, Blue Side. Just hang a right, run under the engine, take it straight off the map, go through this skyscraper. I mean, that's the fastest way to get to work if I've ever seen it. 7.049. Li Zhang Tower, Garden, Red Side. Hang a right. Just tuck yourself under. It's as easy as that. 5.155. The fastest Lee Jung Tower time so far, if I'm not mistaken. Lee Jung Tower blue side, however, for the garden stage. Can we beat 5.115? 5.430. That's unbalanced. This is not a symmetrical map. Or I was just getting destroyed by the random spawns. Of course, there are random spawns on these maps. They are going to influence your speed run. Because what's a good speed one without RNG? Control center red side, 4.246. Incredible. Control center blue side, 4.563. I'm not making this up. They're different times. Oasis. All right, this map gets a bit interesting. We have an extra factor here where we don't have to take it off the map. We can just hang a left, and if we're lucky, we'll just get hit by a car. Incredible. 8.8. .8. Exactly. That's just incredible. I've never seen an Oasis run as fast as that. Oasis City Center, blue side still. We're going to measure the time it takes to actually just jump off the pit in the middle. As you can see, we're already over time. The car is much faster if you get the proper car spawn. 10.252. You can really get to waste two seconds in your speed one. Oasis Red Side City Center. We're just going to go out the right door and we're going to go for the car again. It's much easier and it's much faster. But as you can see, I missed the car. And this is longer than running in the pit. 10.744. If you want consistency, you have to go for the pit. This game's too RNG based. If we run straight from Red Side, we have to beat this time. Otherwise, <laughs> the run's ruined. It's looking like a tenner. 10.435. Was that faster than the cars? I don't remember. Please tell me in the comments below. Uh, here I panic and I'm about to get kicked for inactivity on Garden's blue side. This isn't the right way to go. You can cut the corner by silent shutting the glass, which is done by left clicking as Torbjorn and then quickly switching to your hammer. That completely mutes the sound of your weapon, as you can see. Maybe you just couldn't hear it over the sound of me screaming into the microphone for 20 minutes straight. We're going to just take it over this hedge, straight off the map, hit a skybox, 9.134. Oasis Gardens Red Side. On the blue side of Oasis University, however, there are two different ways. You can either hop up this ledge and just straight off the map. Or, you can pull a technical maneuver. Here we are running from the University Blue Side again. 8.125 is the time to beat. Can we beat 8.125? Jump on the hedge. Jump on the other hedge. And over the garden. 8.125. 8.008. 8 Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. That is the faster way to run off on University Blue Side. We're going to try it on Red Side here. Running. Running. Straight. Straight. Very nice form. 7. 8.25. 7. Whoa! 8.275! I can't even speak! I'm so uh, astounded by the speeds! 8.725! Can we beat it by performing the previous technique? 8.725! Come on, babe! 9.660! It's not better on red side! It's much worse! There's a long... Was it a longer drop? Watch point, Gibraltar! First offense! We're gonna take a left! Take another left! And it's straight off the map! It's one of those maps, it's beautifully designed, you know you can just get straight to it. You might slide on these rocks a little bit, that'll, that'll cost you some time. Shut the fuck up, Athena, I'm trying to record a commentary. I'm about to get kicked again, second offense. This is a really nice third person shot to showcase that nothing actually happens in this one. I just run, hop up these crates, that's a technical maneuver that I can brag about. Pull a left on that, but don't get stuck on those rocks. I don't know if you can, you probably can't. And here I mess up, you don't, I, I hit the... Actually, that was okay. I thought I messed up that one. Maybe it's the next one. 19.595. Not a very good run. Watch point of Gibraltar. Third offense. We're going to pull a left next to the missiles. Just run straight. There's going to be a payload in the way. We're going to have to move that out of the way Get very quickly. Movie. Torbjorn's very strong. He can do that pretty easily. Just run through the door. Run through the next door. Straight off the map. 18.126. That's pretty good. Considering what we've just seen. Watchpoint Devolta first defense. There's two different ways you can go. The second one's a little bit crafty. 
you're just gonna want st want to run straight ahead for <laughs> the first defense <laughs> and go up the stairs. <laughs> up the stairs. Here's where the mess up comes into play, boys. Just you want to you're gonna want to jump off the left, but you're not gonna want to do it too early because there's a skybox in the way. That's going to impact the run, and I slide on the rocks a bit too much there, 25.534, definitely could use some improvement. However, we can go out the left door. I'm pretty sure we had to beat 25 seconds, my memory is not up to scratch. Just keep running, and it's just the same as a third offense, that's the one. Just run through the building with the mini in it that used to have a mega in it, back in beta. Wow, that's much faster than 25, 19.261, how does he do it? We're going to head off to our last... Oh, that's the second defense. That's not the last defense. You just pull a right. Who cares? I don't need to commentate this one. Watchpoint Gibraltar, third defense. Can we beat 7.858? Probably not because you got to run all the way up the stairs while everyone else is capping the point. I did this video before you could turn the transparency of the... Pay Shut up, Athena. The payload down. Jump off the 9.10, You know how it is. Third defense Gibraltar. Onto our last map for the medium, Hanamura first offense. That you always have an attack sim, just go through the teleporter. 2.102, that's incredible, breathtaking, record breaking. Look at Symmetra's AFK, she's just astounded. Hanamura second offense, just go left, left and left. It's beautiful, 4.905, you just can't beat it. What's going on? Hanamura first defense. This is, it's the only defense. Just run out the right door, keep hopping, hop over that bench. Pull another right at this door. Just keep keep running forward. Do, do some tall up. Turn right. Jump up. 14.523. My voice is not prepared. Ugh. King's Row, our first hard map. First offense. You're going to run. want to run straight out the door. You're going to run alongside this bus. As you can see, King's Row 629 is the bus. Sorry. That's not the bus you're going to want to catch. You're going to want to catch the 630, which should bring you down here. And then let you off. You're going to want to get off at this route. And then, uh, do some more advanced tall pops where you get a little bit more difference. Distance, sorry. And then you're going to want to catch the 405 into the pit. It's a pretty effective route. 28, 29, 30.305 seconds. That's pretty good for that long of a run. You're going to want to catch those bus timetables, though. You don't want to mess up and get stuck raiding at a bus stop for five minutes in your run. King's Row, second offense. The bus is... It's out of order. The buses are, they're on strike. The bus drivers are on strike. I have to run all the way myself through the streets of King's Row. It's very dangerous. Uh, I'm running out of filler conversation. Now, you, this is the hard part. You're going to want to run around this corner, and Diva's just going to bomb you. So, you've got to hit the sound barrier from your ally Lucio, which will launch you forward, and you'll be able to get into the pit in 30.172 seconds. That is slower than the first offense, unfortunately. But you just gotta get those bus timetables sorted out and you'll be right. King's Road third offense, this one's really simple. No buses needed, it's a pedestrian crossing. Just walk straight past the payload. Make sure you don't push it. You don't want to get it in the way at all. Just keep running forward, straight into the pit. Can we do it? Record time incoming. 16, 17, 18, 18.026 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. King's Row first defense is a similar thing. You're gonna to want to turn right, get out of that subway tunnel, turn right again, and just run into the same pit. Look at this nice camera angle. You want to cut around this pole and then head straight into the pit from here. It's as easy as that. You can't... Why is this in the hard category? Only because you've got to catch those buses on the offense. Everything else is easy. And that's an exact 17 on the first defense. That's incredible. Second defense, you're just going to want to run out the straight... St straight left. Not a straight at all. You just turn left, run straight, turn right, run straight. A bit of a zigzag maneuver there coming out from the Torbjorn. And onto Horizon Lunar Colony. This is where the Torb hops start to get a little bit intense. You're going to want to start the B hops from the first offense and just hop, hop, hop. You want to swing the mouse a little bit so it looks like you're going faster than you actually are. You're not going to want to try and take the stairs and launch yourself over because it doesn't work. You have to wrap around this wall. I've tried it many times. It just wouldn't work out. If you can do it, show me. You'll beat my personal world record. You're going to want to be at the apex of your jump through that final door into space so you can get the maximum velocity you possibly can into the space area where you float around 25.4 seconds. Horizon Lunar Colony second offense. There's only one way off the map. It's outside. you got to turn left, turn left, turn right up the stairs. 
do some nice hops up the stairs, you can gain a lot of momentum just by spamming the space bar. There's a very unfortunate jump here where I overshoot the landing and I slide along the ground a little bit to take it off in 16.675 seconds. Not very good. I reckon that time could be beaten easily. Now we take oh, the tall pop to the next level. We've taught you the basics. Now we can tall pop off the walls. Bouncing, bouncing. How does Torbjorn do it? He's so stocky. He's so stubby. He's just jumping everywhere. Torbjorn's setting a world record pace here. How does he do it? Danny, stay on your skates. I mean, Torbjorn. Uh, 17.18.19. 20. 21, 22.281. That felt like a longer fall than we previously had. Maybe there was too much height off there. Junker Town is by far the hardest map to take it off on. First offense, though, is pretty easy. Just take it off the right side. It is shorter than going off the left side. You're going to get an 8.467 on that one. It's only shorter because you can actually get out the right door. There is no left door for that. Second offense, same thing. Out the right door. Run straight ahead, straight off the cliff. You can get a nice 7.399 seconds. That's pretty respectable for Junkertown's second offense. Junkertown third offense, on the other hand, this is a pretty long run. You're going to want to sync up those... Oh! Oh! I didn't expect him to pull a right there. He can cut through this building, take a left, and just hop through this <laughs> gate. This is still time consuming. Is he going to make it on time? 15 seconds. 17 seconds. What time is he going to hit? He's not going to want to get stuck on this van here. It's going to be very unfortunate. It'll ruin the run. He's going to jump off that ledge. Very nice, very nice. Got to sync up the apex of his hop. He does hit the ledge there. That does add a little bit of extra time from the bounce back. 26.627 seconds. Junkertown, first defense. This is another long run. You're going to want to run up the stairs, spamming that space bar so you get some good uh, good velocity going. Tall popping, you know how it is. You got to take the second set of stairs so you get a nice little drop there out through the window. 13 seconds on the clock. Is Torbjorn going to beat the time from the previous <laughs> offense? I'm not sure what the time was because I'm losing. I've been screaming in this microphone for at least 19 minutes at this point. Nice. Oh, he's gone for the turret placement on the edge of the cliff. That's a double hit. It takes him and the turret off the map. 26.752 seconds. Junkertown's second defense. This is also a long run. It's pretty much the same route as before. You're going to want to hop through this spawn, hop through the left corridor once you get to it, and then just run straight through, just as we saw in the previous map. You're not going to want to mess up though, taking those stairs is dastardly, so what you're going to want to do is accidentally take the stairs and then cut to a clip of what actually happened on the first defense. 23 seconds on the clock, he's making incredible time without going up those stairs. It's just unfathomable. Another slick hop here, he's going to get the tall pops going, he's going to save plenty of time. One, two, three, four, five, how many can he do in a row? He's going at an incredible pace, 38 seconds. 40 seconds, and the top, it's, it's done it again. It's almost as if it was the same clip as last time. 41.758 seconds. Junkertown, third defense. By hard, the far, farthest point from the cliff, and the hardest. The tall pops are going strong on this run. I wonder if he can pull off some... Uh, that's a long mountain core he's just popped, and he's bouncing between the rotating platforms. The RNG on control on that is incredible. Surely there's been some RNG manipulation in the lobby. He's still bouncing. He's getting incredible height, but he's losing horizontal speed. He's losing time. He's got to get through that window. Look at his split. 26 seconds, 27 seconds. Is this a world record? 30 seconds, 30.322, Torbjorn. Uh, ignore that bit. That was uh, Temple of Anubis. Honestly, this is just a shit map. So you're going to want to start tall popping and then open up the menu and just leave the game.